Hey, this is Andy over at Chem Free Exterminating with Dan Murphy. How are you doing, Dan? I'm doing well, thank you. Having a good day? I'm having a great this day. This is awesome filming these episodes, isn't it? You I'm love being on camera. That's right. And the camera I, loves you. I just couldn't wait for this. <laughs> so I want to talk about the, in the cases you have to tent. First of all, um, you're, you, the biggest thing that's, in, that's important about your business is that you're, you have chemical-free alternatives. However, uh, when would it be most likely that somebody would have to tent? When we arrive at a property, most people have a pretty good idea that they might need tenting, but they're looking for a hopeful shot at trying some alternative measure before they choose tent fumigations. And so what would be some of the things, like if they have a huge infestation of, of termites, or what, what kind of reasons would you have to go to them and say, you know what, uh, tenting is a better option? When drywood termites are overly infested on a house, when termites are being found in many areas, such as an attic space, patio, exterior, garage, more often than not, tenting would be the most proper way to approach it. So in tenting, say we have to tent, um, what are some of the chemicals that you use in tenting? The only product used on a tent fumigation is Vicane gas, and Vicane has a technical name of sulfuryl fluoride. It's been around for about 45 years, and it's, it's the best preferred fumigant on the market. It has no smell, it has no residue, which means you don't have to wash or clean anything after a fumigation. But should they, um, you know, we talked about this in another episode, but just in case they missed it, do they have to bag their medicine and food and that kind of stuff that's left in the house? All food and medicine has to be bagged up as a precautionary measure. Um, so you can bag your food and leave it in a home during a fumigation. What about house plants or plants that are close to the exterior of the house? Will they get, will they die or? All, they... all potted plants have to be removed from the property, but all the exterior plants that are in the soil just need to be trimmed back about one foot. Okay, cool. Um, and then in the tenting, again, we talked about this before, but you probably have to go on the roof. So uh, what's the chance of a tile getting broken with somebody that's walking around on the, on the tile roof? Well, since Kim Free has to walk on the roof in order to tarp the roof, there will be some broken tiles afterwards. Uh, sometimes we can get away without breaking any, but if there are broken tiles, we're capable of replacing broken tiles if the homeowner supplies spare tiles. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. You guys are really nice. We do it all. <laughs> is there ways of trying, I mean, do you guys do your best to not break the tiles or is it just a given that they're gonna be broken? I mean, is, can they, I mean, what's your, your experience with the tile thing? Well, the, uh, the only way to approach a house with a tile roof is, uh, is to take your time and not overbook a day. So before we show up, we know it's a tile roof and we just know that you're not doing many houses that day, maybe just one or two houses in a day. All right. So how long does, uh, does it take to, uh, for the entire service? Fumigating a house takes about maybe three hours on the average. Okay. So they only have to be out of the house for how long? They have to be out for two nights. So if we start on a Monday morning, they're back in by Wednesday on, at noon. You know, one thing that was interesting, I was uh, looking at a picture uh, that's on one of your walls at your office and you, you tended this very large building in Newport Beach. What was that building? That building was the Balboa Pavilion Building, which is the oldest building in Newport Beach. And uh, so I called the newspaper, they came out and took a picture of it, and it's kind of a bragging right that we've done one of the oldest fumigations in Newport yeah. Beach. That's pretty awesome. Yes. Uh, any other large buildings that you have done that of note? We've done some of the largest fumigations in Southern California. I've done as many as 200 townhomes at one time. Uh, we can fumigate just about anything given the time. As long as they're prepared to vacate, we can fumigate anything. Yeah. Awesome. So even if you have to go tenting, <laughs> go tenting, go camping. Oh, yes. Even if you have to tent a home, uh, you still are the place to come. Yes, we I mean, are. If you want to do chem free, obviously chem free is your thing. Uh, but then uh, when it comes to tenting, I, uh, I don't know that anybody would be better. With the name chem free exterminating, we offer everything with every alternative on the market. Way to go, Dan. Yes. All right. Thank we'll you. We'll see you in the next one.